My mates and I just threw a surprise housewarming party for our Eskimo friend the other day. <laughs> the poor bugger's now homeless. I'll get me coat. Hello again folks, before I go on I want to mention I made a live stream last night with um, guests coming on including the Reverend Lord Simon Sideways, he popped on and he was on for a good hour, um, all good fun, uh, covered a wide range of subjects, it was a good laugh and as always it's always a pleasure to talk to Simon and uh, engage with him, a really engaging fella and I don't think there's anything I disagree with him. He's got his own channel, link is down below. If you haven't subscribed to him already, good bloke um, and a friend of this channel. So I've kept this live stream up. The reason being, it's a good one, I think, and it's a good laugh. So go and have a look, share it everywhere. Um, YouTube haven't shared it, obviously. Uh, people haven't had notifications for the obvious reason. Uh, we're two British blokes talking about stuff that YouTube doesn't like, but there we go. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I had good fun doing it. Simon did as well, it seems, so so there we go, have a look. Right then, on with the show, and James Whale. If you don't know who James Whale is, he is a British broadcaster here in the UK. He's got his own show at 10 o'clock at night. I think he does it like two, three times a week because of his health. Um, he is a cancer sufferer. I'm not sure if he's in remission or not. Um, uh, he does it with a guy called Ash. Uh, and... I like the guy. I, I like listening to him when I'm working at night because they're right wing. James Whale is a reformed Ramona. He's a rare Ramona who admits that he made a mistake voting to remain in the EU. He's looked into the European Empire, as he now calls it, and sees it for what it is, a criminal gang that sucks the life out of its members, uh, member states. So he gives shit to the lefties. Um, and, and I agree with him on most of the things he says. However... I have unbridged for the way he treats and talks to people who um, are sceptic of the jab and everything who comes onto his channel whom he invites on. Now I find it hard to believe really that a guy who is of the same mindset as someone like I dare say you and I because we're conservative British um, proud of our country heritage people um, you know, we're for immigration, but controlled immigration. Um, we don't like people coming here illegally and taking the piss, etc. Um, we, we're not social, we don't like socialists. Uh, you know, all the good stuff that comes with being British, patriotic uh, and right wing. And then he kind of turns like a Jekyll and Hyde, uh, you know, when anti-vaxxers come on. I think I'm allowed to say vaxxers now, am I? I keep saying jab just in case the um, hipsters in California running the shit show on the platform are watching. And I know they're not happy with my channel. They're not sharing my stuff anyway. Anyway, that's another channel, um, another video for another time. But James Whale, he tweeted this the other day. To the Prime Minister, do not change the policy on mandated vaccination for NHS staff. I'm in hospital on Thursday. I don't want to be treated by somebody who thinks they're above the vaccination. Now, I know James Whale is in and out of hospital quite regularly because he says so on his show. And it might be something to do with his cancer, his throat cancer, who knows? But he's getting treatments, getting checked out. But to tweet this, I think, is despicable because if I had cancer, if I had some terminal disease or something and I needed treatment, I wouldn't give a monkey's toss who treated me, whether they were vaccinated or vaccinated. This tweet is despicable. Now I know he likes to shock people, all right? He is an aggressive, um, straightforward interviewer with people, with, with everyone on his show. And he's been known to just throw callers off, put the phone down on them, tell he's not scared of telling people they're stupid and what he thinks of them. And I kind of like that. But I don't get this hatred towards people who haven't, who haven't had the jab or people who won't have the jab and to see him having a massive meltdown because thousands of hard-working NHS staff are now allowed to keep their jobs because the government have ruled out this stupid draconian childish mandate I think it's quite despicable you know 
the state of this guy doing this or anyone directing vitriol and hate towards people who've looked into why they don't want to take the job is disgusting. So imagine this scene, everyone in the NHS have walked out. Nearly 80,000 of them were going to walk out because of this mandate. But imagine they all went and he went to hospital to get his treatment and there was nobody there. Now, I believe in medical freedom and bodily um, autonomy. That, that's everyone's right. But if he turned up there and there was no one there to treat him because he wanted them all sacked because they wouldn't take the job, then he shouldn't be crying about it. I don't know why he's gone down this route with people haven't taken the jab. A lot of celebrities have. Andrew Neil, for one, uh, said people who won't take the jab need to get punished. What kind of rhetoric is that? There are channels on YouTube dedicated to just directing hate and vitriol towards people like you and I uh, who won't take it. And we've got our reasons. And my reason isn't conspiratorial. I don't think it's anything to do with 5G. I don't think... It makes men grow tits, as if I need the jab for that. Turns you into a fucking lizard, or um, turns you into a Bluetooth beacon, whatever. I don't believe in all that. What I see online are people who have had severe detrimental after effects from taking it, and even death. That's a fact. You can, you can find all this information on the YouGov site. But I'm telling you now, folks, all these people pushing their hatred... Uh, vitriol, um, inciting violence even. It's all on Twitter. You're allowed to do this. If you're a lefty on Twitter, with a blue tick especially, you can say and direct anything you want against conservatives or right-wing people because, you know, it's the, they're the people who run that shit show. It's their backyard. Social media is the left-wing backyard. They can, they can do and say what they want. We, however, no chance. I mean, this is the stupidity I find on Twitter. And I go on Twitter with my <laughs> account... Uh, which is permanently suspended, by the way. Just have a look on stuff which I can produce on videos like this. And look at this twat. Nicky Ramone. Nicky Ramone, and he tweeted, If you want your nan treated by an unvaccinated member of the NHS, that's up to you, mate. But personally, I'd rather she was treated by Harold Shipman. Now, obviously, Nicky is a, uh, a step short of a ladder or two to tweet stuff like this. He would rather his nan, his grandmother, get treated by a mass murderer, Harold Shipman, a doctor who police believed murdered up to 250 mostly elderly patients of his. He would rather his grandmother get treated by that monster than someone who hasn't had the jab. I mean, this idiot, he is clearly comparing unjabbed people to mass murderers, serial killers. It's not, I don't have the words. I'm trying really hard to. You can't really, you can't really engage with these people and the hatred they spew. You, you just can't. It's impossible. Because once they're in their mindset of, of pure hate, then I think they probably get off on it. They really do. I mean, anti-jabbers now, people who won't take it, are akin to the Jewish community in Germany in the 1930s. That's, that's what it's like. I mean, look at the truckers in Canada. The uh, brave drivers there who are standing up against the plague tyranny by Manlet, Justin Trudeau. They've had their um, Facebook group shut down. They had a $10 million donation cut off. Was it change.org? Anyway, they've stopped that and they're being vilified. And the police are going to move in and prosecute because these people are standing up for their rights. And freedoms because leaders like Trudeau, Jacinda Ardern, uh, the Australian uh, Prime Minister, uh, Macron in France, they have all used this plague as a way of controlling the people and dividing them. And if you ask me, they need to be legally brought to account because it's the same thing as the Nazis. The Nazis did the same thing, directed vitriol and hate towards the Jews in 1930s Germany and their behaviour mirrors that there's there's accounts on youtube twitter online who do this as well because they hear and see celebrities like james whale andrew neil and the rest of them and world leaders demonizing people who refuse which is their god-given right to take a medical um uh, procedure on their bodies 
is disgusting, absolutely disgusting. But James Whale, though I like him as a broadcaster, I completely disagree with him on his stance on unvaccinated people and the way he talks to them, just talks to them like shit. It's okay for him to talk to lefties like shit though, because um, there's lefties, isn't there? They just, but you know, anti-vaxxers or people who haven't had the jab, then no, hear their views properly because they're not anti-jabbers because they want to kill people and spread hate. You look into this thing, it's not what they're telling you. And I'm saying that in code because if I, if I mention certain words on my channel, then my channel's as good as gone. And that's what it's like on, on social media. So have a look at it, look into it. Um, ring into James Whale on Talk Radio. Link is down below. He's on at 10 o'clock at night now. Um, <laughs> yeah, tell him what you think. Anyway, that's it, that's my video. Please comment, share, subscribe. If you wish to support my channel, then by all means you can buy me a beer because YouTube have demonetized my channel. Um, and remember the live stream I did last night with Simon Sideways, which is all good fun. So have a look, have a laugh, share my stuff, comment, let me know what you think. And until the next video, Roger Trout.